Capri Uli Venezia Giulia is one of the 20 regions of Italy, and one of the five autonomous regions with special statute. The capital is Trieste. It has an area of 7,858 square kilometers and about 1.2 million inhabitants, a natural opening to the sea for many Central European countries. The region is traversed by the major transport routes between the east and west of southern Europe. It encompasses the historical geographical region of Friuli and a small portion of the historical region of Venezia Giulia, each with its own distinct history, traditions and identity. The name of the region was spelled Friuli Venezia Giulia until 2001, when, in connection with the modification of Article Nia 116 of the Italian Constitution, the official spelling Friuli Venezia Giulia was adopted. Geography Friuli Venezia Giulia is Italy's most northeastern region. It covers an area of 7,858 square kilometers and is the fifth smallest region of the country. It borders Austria to the north and Slovenia to the east. To the south it faces the Adriatic Sea and to the west its internal border is with the Veneto region. The region spans a wide variety of climates and landscapes from the mild Mediterranean climate in the south to Alpine continental in the north. The total area is subdivided into a 42.5% mountainous alpine terrain in the north, 19.3% is hilly, mostly to the southeast while the remaining 38.2% comprises the central and coastal plains. Morphologically the region can be subdivided into four main areas, the mountainous area in the north. This part of the region includes Carnia and the ending section of the Alps, of which the highest peaks exceed 2,700 meters above sea level. Its landscapes are characterized by vast pine forests and pastures, mountain lakes and numerous streams and small rivers descending from the mountains. The area is also known for its tourist destinations, especially during the winter season. The hilly area, situated to the south of the mountains and along the central section of the border with Slovenia. The main product of agriculture in this area is wine, whose quality, especially the white, is known worldwide. The easternmost part of the hilly area is also known as Slavia Frilana, as it is mostly inhabited by ethnic Slovenes. The central plains are characterized by poor, arid and permeable soil. The soil has been made fertile with an extensive irrigation system and through the adoption of modern intensive farming techniques. In this part of the region most of the agricultural activities are concentrated. The coastal area can be further subdivided in two, west and eastern, subsections separated by the river Isenzo's estuary. To the west, the coast is shallow and sandy, with numerous tourist resorts and the lagoons of Grado and Mirano Lagunary. To the east, the coastline rises into cliffs, where the Cras Plateau meets the Adriatic, all the way to Trieste and Muglia on the border with Slovenia. The Casa has geological features and phenomena such as hollows, cave networks and underground rivers which extend inland in the provinces of Trieste and Gorizia, with an altitude ranging between 300 meters and 600 meters. The rivers of the region flow from the north and from Slovenia into the Adriatic. The two main rivers are the Taglamento, which flows west-east in its upper part in the Karnak Alps and then bends into a north-south flow that separates the Julian Alps from Alpine foothills and the Isenzo which flows from Slovenia into Italy. The Timovo is an underground river that flows for 38 kilometers from Slovenia and resurfaces near its mouth northwest of Duino. The region Free Uli Venezia Giulia has a temperate climate. However, due to the terrain's diversity, it varies considerably from one area to another. Walled by the Alps on its northern flank, the region is exposed to air masses from the east and the west. The region receives also the southerly Sirocco from the Adriatic Sea, which brings in heavy rainfall. Along the coast the climate is mild and pleasant. Trieste records the smallest temperature differences between winter and summer and between day and night. 
The climate is alpine continental in the mountainous areas, where, in some locations, the coldest winter temperatures in Italy can often be found. The Cras Plateau has its own weather and climate, influenced, mostly during autumn and winter, by masses of cold air coming from the northeast. These generate a very special feature of the local climate. The northeasterly wind Bora, which blows over the Gulf of Trieste with gusts occasionally exceeding speeds of 150 km per hour. History In Roman times, modern Friuli Venezia Giulia was located within Regia ex Venetia A Historia of Roman Italy. The traces of its Roman origin are visible over all the territory. In fact, the city of Aquileia, founded in 181 BC, served as capital of the region and rose to prominence in the Augustan period. Starting from the Lombard settlements, the historical paths of Friuli and Venezia Giulia begin to diverge. In 568, Cividale del Friuli became the capital of the first Lombard dukedom in Italy. In 774, the Franks favoured the growth of the Church of Aquileia and established Cividale as a march. In 1077, Patriarchate of Aquileia was given temporal power by the Holy Roman Emperors and this power was extended temporarily even to the east. But already in the 12th century Gorizia had actually become independent in Trieste, along with other coastal towns organized itself as a free city-state. In the 6th century, the Alpine Slavs, ancestors of present-day Slovenes, settled the eastern areas of the region. They settled in the easternmost mountainous areas of Friuli, known as the Friuli and Slavia, as well as the Kras Plateau and the area north and south from Gorizia. In the 12th and 13th century, they also moved closer to Trieste. Friuli became Venetian territory in 1420, while Trieste and Gorizia remained under the Austrian Empire. Pordenone was of corpus separatum, under Austrian influence until 1515, when it also fell under the Venetian rule. With the Peace Treaty of Campo Formido in 1797, Venetian domination came to an end and Friuli was ceded to Austria. After the period of domination by Napoleon, which affected also Trieste and Gorizia, it again became part of the Austrian Empire and was included in the Lombard Veneto Kingdom. Them, while Gorizia was merged with the Illyrian Kingdom and Trieste, together with Istria, became part of the Austrian coastal region. The enlightened policy of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire in the 18th and 19th centuries encouraged an extraordinary economic flourishing, making Trieste the empire's port. The fortunate outcome of the War of Independence brought Free Uli alone into the unified Kingdom of Italy. After the First World War, in which this region was a main theatre of operations and suffered serious damage and loss of lives, the fates of these borderlands were again united, although Venezia Giulia, in particular, was the subject of the explosion of contradictions regarding the borders. The Second World War led to the Anglo-American administration in Trieste until the border was fixed with the Memorandum of London in 1954. When Trieste was reunited with Italy, the autonomous region of Friuli Venezia Giulia could finally be established. The Italian constitution assigns it the status of region with a special statute, together with four other Italian regions. However, Friuli Venezia Giulia obtained administrative autonomy in the special statute only in 1963. The reasons for this constitutional delay are interwoven with the international problems of the second post-war period and with those deriving from the region's diversity, the different historical, ethnic, and linguistic components that go to make up this area. In 1975 the Treaty of Arzimo was signed in Arzimo, definitively dividing the former free territory of Trieste between Italy and Yugoslavia. Economy the economy of Free Uli Venezia Giulia is one of the most developed in the country. Its core is based on small and middle sized enterprises, on specialized farming, and on high quality tourism with a significant inclination towards exports. 
Agriculture and farming maintain an essential role in the economy of the region and employed in 2001 around 95,000 persons. Its high-quality products are exported not only within the country and Europe but have become known worldwide for their quality. Noteworthy is also the production of soy and timber production in Karnia. As mentioned above, the economy of the region is based on a widespread mosaic of small and medium-sized enterprises, of particular importance are the four industrial districts where a multitude of such highly specialized enterprises are concentrated. These districts are centered around the towns of Manzano, San Daniele del Friuli, Maniago and Brunera. A number of large enterprises are also present in the region in both the industry and services sector. Some of these companies are world leaders in their relevant sectors, such as Fincantieri for the construction of the world's largest cruise ships. Zanussi Electrolux in the production of electrical appliances and Assicurazioni Generali in Trieste, a leading insurance companies in the world. Local craftsmanship can boast products of the highest quality, such as fabrics, carved furniture, wooden sculptures, artistic ceramics, mosaic, wrought iron and copper, string instruments and typical traditional costumes. The tourist industry is developing thanks to a combination of sea, mountains and gastronomy routes. Again, in the services sector the city of Trieste plays a leading role. It is in fact here that activities such as the regional government, large banking and insurance companies are concentrated. With its commercial free port, Trieste also plays an essential role in the trade sector. Special custom regulations ensure exclusive financial conditions to operators. The port of Trieste is today the most important center worldwide for the trade of coffee and plays a strategic key role in trade with Northern and Eastern Europe although small in size. Free Uli Venezia Giulia has always been in the center of Europe and has played an important role in connecting Italy to Central and Eastern Europe. Its role will become even more strategic as a logistical platform with the imminent enlargement of the European Union. Hence the importance of the infrastructure network of the region, which can today be considered first-rate in quality and diversity. The motorway network consists of more than 200 kilometers that run from north to south and from west to east, perfectly connecting the region to Austria and Slovenia. The railway network consists of around 500 kilometers of track, with the two twin line backbones Venice Trieste and Trieste Rudine Tarvisio Austria. The motorway and railway networks are linked to the ports of Trieste, Monfalcone, and Porto Nogaro, the three most northerly ports of the Mediterranean. Trieste, in particular, has a free port for goods since 1719. It is the Italian port with the greatest capacity for covered storage. With a surface area of more than 2 million square meters and 70 kilometers of rail tracks, Intermodality is guaranteed by the Servignano Terminal, in operation since 1988, to serve the increasing commercial traffic between Italy and Eastern European countries. Lastly, the regional airport of Ronchi DEI Legionary is situated 30 km from Trieste and 40 km from Udine and is closely connected to the motorway and railway networks. The airport offers regular national and international flights including destinations in Eastern Europe. The region is now placing much of its hopes for future economic development in the construction of a high-speed European transport corridor N degree V, connecting Lyon, Turin, Venice, Trieste, Ljubljana, Budapest and Kiev, so as to improve the traffic of goods and services with new EU partners. Demographics Population density is lower than the national average. In 1978 there were in total only 1,224,611 inhabitants. In 2008 it was in fact equal to 157.5 inhabitants per square kilometer. 
However, density varies from a minimum of 106 inhabitants per square kilometer in the province of Udine to a maximum of 1,144 inhabitants per square kilometer in the province of Trieste. The negative natural balance in the region is partly made up by the positive net migration. To some extent the migratory surplus has in fact offset the downward trend in the population since 1975. In 2008, the resident population with foreign nationality registered in the region accounted to 83,306 persons. Government and politics. Administrative divisions. Free Uli Venezia Giulia is divided into four provinces. Culture. Language Italian is the official national language. Friulian language is also spoken in most of the region, with a few exceptions, most notably Trieste and the area around Monfalcone and Grado, where a version of the Venetian language and Triestine dialect is spoken instead. The local languages are more common in the countryside, while in the larger towns, standard Italian is the predominant language. In the provinces of Udine, Gorizia and Trieste, a number of Slovene dialects are spoken along the border with Slovenia. Slovene is especially present in the mountainous areas of eastern Friuli, in the area known as Venetian Slovenia, in the villages north and south of Gorizia and on the Casa Plateau around Trieste. A small Corinthian Slovene community also exists in the Val Canal on the border with Austria, in the municipalities of Malborg, Ghetto, Valbruna and Tarvisio. In the province of Udine, Slovene has only been officially recognized as a minority language since 2001, and there are few bilingual public schools, mostly located in the southern area, close to the province of Gorizia. In the provinces of Gorizia and Trieste, on the other hand, Slovene has enjoyed minority protection rights since the mid-1940s including a widespread network of Slovene language schools and cultural associations. In the province of Udine, most Slovene speakers live in a diglossic situation, with a knowledge of the local Slovene dialect and standard Italian, but with a poor knowledge of standard Slovene. In the provinces of Trieste and Gorizia, on the other hand, the knowledge of standard Slovene is much more common, and in some areas it is predominant over the use of dialects. Estimates on the Slovenes in the region vary greatly, from 52,000 up to 183,000. Most probably, the actual number of Slovene speakers is somewhere between 70,000 and 85,000, that is between 5, 5% 5 and 7% of the region's population. The number of native German speakers in Free Uli Venezia Giulia is estimated to be around 2,000. They live in the Val Canal, which is adjacent to Istria, and in the municipality of Saurish and the Frazione of Timau, which each form a language exclave.